I went thrifting yesterday and I got one of the best thrift hauls I've ever gotten in my life, probably not to be dramatic. And I have a thrift with me and thrift haul for you today. So let's just get into the thrift with me because I really want to get to the haul. POV, you traveled three hours to get to Sabres. I hope I find her outfit today. This is so cute, but like, I'm not Jessica. I can't be that girl. I would love to like hang this on my wall, but I don't see any way to like affix it to a wall. So I think I'm going to put it back. This is literally my dream outfit. Like, where did she get it? Because I need it in my size. When I say I'm literally just a girl, I can't tell if this is cute or if it just like has a lace border. Sometimes I just can't tell. This is more like grandpa core than grandma core, but it is still very cute. I don't want to scare my boyfriend, but like this is the aesthetic that I'm going for at all times. Like it is very cute, but actually what would I do with this? But I do kind of love it. I am tempted. This is so cute, but my mom got me something very similar for Christmas. So I think I'm going to put it back. I'm not Mary, but um, I'm gonna be. What? A thrift store quality like litmus test that I've been thinking about a lot is that if like the wooden section is really good, that means that the selection at the store is just gonna be like amazing in every other section. So we'll see if that's true today, but so far it's so good. Like for example, I'm not even gonna get this, but this is amazing. And like, this is so cute too. I feel like this is gonna be controversial, but I am gonna pass on this picture frame, even though it has a teddy bear and a bow, which are famously two of my favorite things. I don't know. Like at a certain point, one girl doesn't need that many novelty picture frames. I feel like someone's fucking with me right now because there's so much good teddy bear stuff in the thrift store right now, I'm gonna stop. Is this scary or cute? I can't tell. I'm already getting in the teddy bear jar, but if I wasn't, on an aesthetic level, I think that this is kind of like horrible, but um, it is very funny. I feel conflicted about breaking up a set because I really wanna get these two plates and I found the matching cups and like these mini plates, but I don't need the mini cups and plates. So I think I'm gonna put these back, but I am gonna be getting the actual plates, I think. We'll see. Every time I go to a thrift store, I feel like I wanna start hoarding pictures in my apartment. Oh. My god, wait. Is this a joke? This is so cute. Um, Again, I don't have a need for pictures, but everyone needs to look at this. Look how cute these are. Oh my god. This like food storage container is really cute, but I honestly don't have a need for it. And I would be lying to myself if I told myself that I did. Ceramic soap dispenser is really cute. I kind of think I could find one that's like more me. I think I'm going to hold out for a better one. I just know I'm never going to actually make this, but look how cute this is. I have been thinking that I should get a pin cushion because I do a lot of sewing and embroidery, but um, three seems a little bit excessive. But I'm going to be honest, these are actually perfect. I do do not have the space in my apartment to like keep like seasonal items but this is so cute i love this bear halloween lamp okay so i just found this in the light section which actually like shut up this is actually perfect i love precious moments i don't understand where the light will come out but i am going to be buying it because i actually um clinically have to medically i feel like my litmus test is correct i've been thinking about it for months honestly so please weigh in if you agree i feel like if the wooden section is good i feel like it means that like the rest of the store is going to be good because like how good can the wooden section be but if it is like really good then it's like oh this selection is really good everywhere this pillow is really cute. I don't know if I could ever get it clean enough to wear it, feel comfortable with it. So I think I'm going to put it back, but I love it. Oh my God. Basically done with like browsing the homework section. So I'm about to go to the clothing section and I'm honestly nervous because I've gotten so many good things in the homework section. I don't know, but I'm also really excited. So I was just browsing the sweaters and then I was like, who are you kidding? Like, obviously you want to go to see the PJ and lingerie section. So that's where I'm going right now. This is ultimately shapeless, but I kind of love it. Am I crazy? When I say I feel incredibly brave, I do mean that I did not get anything in the PJ and lingerie section, honestly for the best. I feel like this gap pleated skirt is the moment, but it's also. 1129 which is making me really sad but i'm gonna put it in my cart just in case okay wait i actually couldn't make this up even if i wanted to so i was like why is this skirt 1499 holy shit and then i realized it is first of all love shack fancy okay that's crazy and it's like new with tags what the fuck oh my god i feel like people online sometimes are like oh my god you have such good luck at the thrift store and i'm like oh my god no but like maybe there's some truth to that oh my god love shack fancy new with tags not the jorts bag Shorts bag, by the way, is $10.99, if anyone was wondering. Okay, I actually hate the color of this shirt, but I do love the messaging because that is me. I'm the crybaby. I kind of feel like I need it, but I'm also like... I don't know. I feel like I would never even wear it to sleep because I hate the color. But if anyone likes the color of Kraft Mac and Cheese, um, it's here for you still. The Shy Little Kitten. This is literally me. Like when I say I'm just a girl. So I pretty much looked at every section that is of interest to me. And I'm going to do one more quick lap through like the homework and like bag section. Um, and then I think I'm going to check out. I feel like I don't know what I did karmically to deserve all of the good stuff that I found today. But I'm actually like overwhelmed. I'm so happy. I don't know if you can see these frog like butter knives, but they're actually unbelievable. This one's like snorkeling. This one I think is surfing. This one is a lifeguard question mark. I love all the mini ceramic frames always, but I just like don't think I need it. Also, I found so much cute stuff today that I'm like, okay, that would be unreasonable, but very pretty. I don't know what's happening with jorts in this store, but it needs to stop. 
this little like bowl slash planter says happiness is found in the little things and by that they mean all of the little things in my cart because i feel actually over the moon before i check out i'm going to show you what i'm putting back um because there are a few things that i really like but i just don't think that i need um so i'm going to show you those this jar it does have bears on it and it could be practical but i just honestly don't think i need it also the counter space in my apartment is like please do not buy this jar so i'm gonna put it back picked up this set of vintage cards because i thought that they could be good as thank you cards for my etsy art shop but i just think i, I don't need any more so i'm gonna put them back too i really like the skirt but i just know it's not gonna fit i don't know if you know that thing where you like put the waist of a skirt around your neck and you can like see if it's gonna fit on your waist it always works on me um and I just know it's not gonna fit, so I'm gonna put it back. Although she is so cute. I thought that this seashell like pearl necklace was really cute, but it's attached to this like Disney necklace and I don't really want the Disney necklace. So maybe I'm gonna leave it for someone else who actually likes both. I'm about to check out, but this is my outfit by the way. So I'm back from the thrift store and I wanna show you everything I got. I'm literally so excited. I got five things, but one of them was like a set of two. So technically there's like six items in the haul. So literally walking around the store being like, thank God I don't see any other coquette girlies here because like they would be eating this shit up. I think I'm gonna show the items in order of what's like least special to most special at least according to my like metrics the first thing that i got is this like dust collector that's like ceramic and of these two teddy bears so cute and if everything in my apartment channeled this energy i feel like i would have the perfect apartment it's like everything i want my apartment to look like and more i will say i'm starting to get a little bit concerned because truly every surface in my apartment that i share with my boyfriend is covered in little tchotchkes of like teddy bears and like floral precious moments sort of like objects so i'm like i might be running out of room because i do live in like a small one bedroom apartment so that's something that's concerning to me i am still like really excited when i find a little dust collector and like how can you resist this the next thing that I got is that set of two plates that I also found like the mini plates and the little like tumblers of, but I only ended up getting the big plates. This is one of them and this is the other. I'm always really excited when I find plates that are microwave and dishwasher safe, just because like practically speaking, like I'm not gonna use them if I can't put them in our dishwasher. It's like a really big deal to have a dishwasher in New York and I'm gonna use it. Also, if plates don't say that they're microwave safe on the bottom, I feel like uncomfortable putting them in the microwave. We take a moment to acknowledge that these are the prettiest plates actually maybe in the world. And they were only $1.99 for two, so it was like 99 cents each. And even though I said that I'm going in order of like least special to most special, I am like so incredibly happy about every single one of these pieces. Like, don't get me wrong, like I love all of them, but these are just like the most ordinary, I would say. The last three things are so special that like if I had found any of these individually and only purchased any of these three things, I would be like so happy about the haul. So the fact that I found them all at the same thrift store and the same day is insane. But the third most special thing that I got is this like, coat rack it says mary on it it's of a teddy bear obviously um and obviously my name isn't mary but i actually couldn't leave this behind so the hearts break my heart oh my god they're so cute and just the color palette i don't know something about this just like makes me feel so like comfortable this is so homey to me it is actually pretty practical considering that like it is just a bunch of hugs for you to hang your coat on the wall really excited to put this on the wall not this wall but probably like a different wall in our apartment but even even though it is functional, I do think it would be cute just as like decor. Okay, the second to last thing that I got, which honestly, like I thought I was gonna throw up when I found it, is this Precious Moments light. And guys, I was looking for an outlet in the store to like try to plug it in to see if it worked. It was only $3.99, but I was still like, what if it doesn't work? But I got home and I plugged it in and it's so cute. It's just like an ambient, like night light almost. Also the fact that it's from the 90s and like one of these ears hasn't chipped off is like amazing to me. No, I'm not religious. Yes, I collect Precious Moments, we exist. And then the last thing that that I got, which I feel like is pretty obvious, which might have been the reason you clicked on this video because I think I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail, is this new with tags. Love Shack Fancy mini skirt, by the way, in my size. Because it still has the tags on it, I could see that this retails for $275, which I don't think I've ever been able to thrift Love Shack Fancy at like a true thrift store. Um, This was $14.99, which for savers is obviously a little bit expensive, but like considering it's a fucking Love Shack Fancy skirt and it's so cute, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to style it for the spring. And also because it's like a solid color, which by the way matches the color of my couch, okay? Um, but because it's a solid color, I feel like it's gonna go with so much. Honestly, I feel like it is a practical purchase considering that it is a skirt the size of a belt, as they say. And like I said this in savers, but I also just wanna like emphasize that like people are always telling me that like I have really good luck at the thrift store and I never believe them. But now I'm like, yeah, I guess I do have really good luck at the thrift store. What the fuck? Anyway, if you're a fellow coquette girly and or love thrifting content, please uh, feel free to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was fun, entertaining, and inspired you to go thrifting and find something cute. Okay, bye.